हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग थ्रू कैम्ब्रिज लोअर सेकेंडरी चेक पॉइंट मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन फ्रॉम अप्रैल 2023 दिस वाज द लेटेस्ट पेपर दैट वाज डन इन अप्रैल सो हियर आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस यू नो दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉचिंग एंड यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब प्लीज डू दैट एज अ सपोर्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट Question one: We have here a regular polygon has exactly eight lines of symmetry. Uh, tick to show if these facts about the polygon are true, false, or if you cannot tell. So we have three columns here: true, false, and cannot tell. For each statement, we need to see which one is correct. First one: The polygon has 16 sides, so it will not have 16 sides because we are given eight lines of symmetry. so that means it is false it should have uh, eight sides second statement is the polygon has rotational symmetry of order 8 so as this is a regular polygon so it will have rotational symmetry of order 8 so this is true right now uh, number 2 carlos rolls a fair sided dice 60 times calculate how many times carlos should expect to roll 3 so that means probability of uh, getting 3 is uh carlos rolls six sided fair six sided dice 60 times uh calculate how many times you should expect to roll 3 so that means So if we throw a dice we will have like 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 outcomes so p3 is going to be 1 out of 6 so how many times we uh, we expect to have 3 when it is 60 times so we are just going to time it by 60 so that is 10 right now number 3 uh, write the letter for each calculation in the correct column of the table one has been done for you uh, equal to 7 power 6 not equal to 7 power 6 so this is 7 times 6 uh, which is not uh, which is not equal to 7 power 6 so this goes here so this one is when you times 7 5 plus 1 it is 6 that is 7 power 6 so b is going to be here and this is 7 power 6 then it is divided so that means minus 6 so that is 7 power 6 again that c will go here and d is 7 power 2 plus 3 it will be 7 power 5 which is not equal to 6 so d is going to be here right now number 4 expand and simplify so we are going to expand the bracket c will be multiplied to first of all to both the uh, variables on the other side so that is going to be c times c is c squared then plus c times 10 is 10c then there is a plus so we will put plus here 4 times both of them 4 times c plus 4 times 10 is 40 so this is c squared plus 14c plus 40 that is the final answer make sure that you write your answer in the space provided to you all right now number 5 draw a line to match each calculation with its answer so 5 times 10 power 1 so we can have 5 times 10 power negative 1 is 1 over 10 so that is 5 over 10 5 over 10 is going to be 0.5 so we are going to match it here uh, so this is 0.5 so 5 there is 10 power 4 when you multiply by 4 there will be four zeros here and there are two decimal places so 1 2 it will become 500 right now this one is 5 divided by uh, 10 raised to power 3 so that means 1 over 1000 right so this will become 5 when you change this division to multiply this will become 1000 over 1 so it is 5000 so that is that is done now number 
वर्क आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन माइनस टू एक्स पावर फोर वन एक्स इज फोर सो वी जस्ट गोइंग टू रिप्लेस एक्स बाई फोर सो टेन माइनस टू टाइम्स फोर पावर फोर सो टेन माइनस टू टाइम्स फोर इज एट टेन माइनस एट इज टू पावर फोर सो टू पावर फोर इज सिक्सटीन मीनिंग टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स टू सो दिस इज टू टाइम्स टू फोर फोर टाइम्स टू एट टाइम्स टू इज सिक्सटीन राइट नंबर सेवन अ पिरामिड हैज अ स्क्वायर बेस विद साइड लेंथ ऑफ टेन सो दिस इज अ स्क्वायर बेस विद साइड लेंथ ऑफ टेन टेन इच साइड फोर कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्राइंगल्स faces each other each with height of 12 so this is the height and these are the uh, triangles here calculate the surface area of the pyramid so first of all we will find out the area of the square so uh, this part number 1 area of square so do you remember the formula area of square is side times side or side square side times side that is 10 times 10, which is 100 uh, centimeter squared, right? So then we have triangles here. So for the triangles, how many triangles? We have four triangles. So for the triangles, the area of triangle is half times base times height. Half. now base base is this one which is also 10 because this is a square and having all the sides same times 10 times height is 12 so 2 times 6 is 12 so 6 10 times 6 is 60 cm square so this is area of one triangle so area of four triangles will be 4 times 60 that is 200 and 40 cm square so total area we are going to add both of them 100 plus 240 that is 340 cm squares right go step by step then you can do it correctly now number 8 the arrow points to a number here is a number draw a ring around the number the arrow points to now see this is more than 5 uh, so we the, we have there the square root so if 5 square 5 square is going to be 25 right so this square is going to be 36 uh, sorry 36 6 square is going to be 36 so number should be between 25 and 36 so we only see one number here which is nearest to this uh, between this that is 30 square root 30 right now number 9 ahmed draws on this graph to show how the number of visitors to his own town has increased big increase in the number of visitors to the town number of visitors here uh, here you can see horizontal axis we have nothing give one reason why the graph could be misleading so one reason we can say that there is nothing on the horizontal axis or you can say uh, x axis is not labeled it can be misleading we can't know what is it against so x axis is not labeled this is the one of the uh, reasons right another one can be like the graph is too thick so it can also be misleading we don't know exactly the numbers so now number 10 Uh, one over n is equivalent to a recurring decimal. N is a whole number. Safia says n must be greater than five. Uh, write a number to complete this sentence. Safia is not correct because the value of n could be. Um, it can be three. Like see, uh, we are taking number uh, less than this so that to show this an uh, equivalent. If we want to make this statement. uh false actually so less than if we take less than number uh sorry if we take a number less than 5 that may be 3 that is 1 over 3 that will be 0.333 this is recurring decimal so she said it must be so it's not necessary so it can be 3 also write 70000 in 7 in standard form 
so here decimal is here we are moving it to 1 2 3 4 places so that is 7.0 times 10 raised to power 4 Uh, write 7.5 into 10 raised to power 5 as uh, negative 3 as ordinary number 7.5 10 5 is 1 over 1000 so this is 7.5 over 1000 so that means we are going to shift this decimal from here to 3 decimal 1 2 this is 1 2 and 3 so 0. 07 uh, 0, 0, 0075 0. Uh, 0. 0.0075 right now number 12 uh, here is Ava's method for drawing a perpendicular bisector of line AB so she has drawn something here uh, she draws an arc of radius 5 centimeter with center A she draws from one with the 5 centimeter another one she drew from b which is 6 centimeter uh, she draws a line to connect the points where her arcs intersect so this is fine explain why eva's method is not correct now uh, perpendicular perpendicular means at 90 degree right this this is at 90 degree and bisector means two equal sections so AB should be divided into two equal parts as you can see it's not divided into equal parts uh, the method is not correct because she has taken from this side 5 centimeter from this side she has taken 6 centimeter she should have taken the radii equal so she should uh, we can say the radii should be same from A and B only then it can be correct like both side we will take the same distance then it will come in the middle of AB right now number 13 here is a formula y equals to uh, square root of w minus 2 draw a ring around the correct uh, rearranging of the formula so all are you see rearranged is uh, w so y we can make a square on both sides y square is equal to w minus 2 square root then there is a square then square and this cancelled so y is equal to w minus 2 uh, if we make the mac, uh, w the subject it will become y square plus 2 equals to w which is here this one so this is the correct option so that's it for this video remaining question we will do in the next one I hope you guys understood everything and please request my request to subscribe. I have seen people are watching and getting benefit but have not subscribed yet. Please do as soon as you can so that it can motivate me to do more videos. Thank you so much. God bless you guys.